What up, what up, Wheatfield? What it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome, welcome to you. If you knew, if you knew, hey, come on in, come on in to the Wheatfield, come on in. Welcome, welcome to you too. My name is La Lati and I am your favorite channel messenger. We don't care what the numbers say. We don't, we don't care. We are in, I hear the word retrograde. And I was kind of thinking about the day's events. Today is 9-16-2023. When we film it, it's technically 9-17-2023 because it's after 12, midnight, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we were thinking about the day's events and kind of recapping and, you know, sowing seed into self and checking out the daily message or the second message of the day and we kind of got caught on the six of swords that's in the pulp to row and uh i was kind of thinking about that card earlier today because it seems six of swords is usually somebody moving from a dark space into a light space and given everything that we've been going through energetic interruptions and a lot of uh just complications and little bitty challenges, you know, that are coming through, things that are testing us and testing patience in that patience barometer, having us increase and in exercise patience in a variety of ways. It was like, hmm. It looked like on that Six of Swords card. And y'all go back and watch the message. If you think it'll resonate with you, you know, like somebody sending you bad juju, bad energy. Look at that. See, I was talking about this card right here. You see, I just threw a slew of slit on the flow because it was, you know, the energy around this card is pretty thick. Six of Swords. That's what we was just talking about. We were thinking about that card um, because of the way that the card, we see Hierophant, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, we see loss, regret, and the spirit is in the middle of it, right? Your perfect counselor, either somebody that's uh, being judged in the spirit or counseling, or their perfect and wise counsel is carrying them through a sense of regret, loss, or something of the sort. Um, or they're just going through a stage of loss. This King of Pentacles. And this is what we talked about earlier today. So if this resonates with you, past love situation. Right? And just so y'all know, I follow the spirit, the Alpha and Omega. Thank you so much for guiding this message. Put me in an inner temple. Yes, in your inner sanctuary. Please surround me. Hedge me. Keep me exactly where I need to be in this moment. And I pray. I pray for your protection. I know that you are with me. I know that you are guiding me. I know that your protection is here always. Thank you so much for your word, the infinite intelligence, and the breath of life, the dynamic duo, moving to allow everything to be, everything to be, and become as the Alpha and Omega has called and decreed it to be. And as I breathe, the word breathes, it lives. Yes, it does. Swore seven, like I said, strong treachery strong treachery deceit theft lying i mean somebody being really really sneaky this person and that's true that is very very true um we see healing is here and knight of wands is in reverse and three of swords yeah See, Knight of Wands being in reverse speaks to speed to me. Like, whereas it usually would be something that's slow and steady, but I feel like it's rushy. Like somebody is rushing because they are upset. They are upset, you know? And we see justice, or they are running away from this justice that has them upset. They're upset because of justice. You know, forward sword to the Knight of Wands in reverse heartache being upset even mad you know and they are distraught we saw despair we saw five of coins we saw five of cups you know injustice is here over somebody using the queen of wands energy 
ex king of wands or maybe they think somebody else is coming in somebody is not prepared for what's getting ready to happen for the end of this cycle they're just not with this ace of wands was in reverse somebody is not re prepared they are struggling um with the end of this cycle and it's definitely some energy coming in what did i say they are struggling with this end of the end of a cycle and this is what I was called to while I was kind of recapping today. This right here. And in the last message I said this person, it usually this card depicts somebody moving from a dark space into a light space. Like from uh, moving out of the dark and into the light going forward from out of the dark and into the light. And this one right here depicts differently. It also it, it is dark either way. But it's dark, but they move it into more darkness. It's illuminated. The moon is illuminating, right? A particular sword. And I think the sword that's being illuminated, of course, is the Ace of Swords. Representing the Ace. Representing the truth. Like maybe the reason why you're moving away. And sometimes dealing with the truth and just going through the process itself of moving forward, you know, you move into a darker space before it gets light. Like they say, it's always darkest before it gets light. And that's what hit me and that's what told me to get up and bring the message. So for somebody who's moving forward, um, Six of Swords energy, sometimes it gets darker before it gets light. Dealing with all these unexpected challenges and hiccups, you know, working in the way through it where we are releasing complaints. Not to say that we haven't, you know, but we are trying to be mindful about not complaining about how we speak because we don't want to continue to call the same thing out as we go forward and calling more in. We want to resolve. We want to put to bed. We want to process and I'm getting the um to the C card out of the wisdom deck I can see it is making me feel like this you see how this person is sitting here in the boat but in the wisdom oracle deck this person doesn't have someone else with them they don't see in this depiction it's somebody else that's pushing the boat and moving you forward like almost like a savior or a, a comrade. But in the uh, Wisdom Oracle deck, there's nobody there. And they're just kind of floating and allowing the spirit. Two of Pentacles. This person is really struggling to come to balance. I feel like that's what's going on with them. Like they are juggling, you know, a lot. Not just juggling this or that, this or that. I've not just weighing options, but I feel like they are struggling to maintain balance. This. That's true. Ace of Cups. They are struggling to maintain balance because I believe that your spiritual connection, your spirituality, like I said, the spirit is with you, moving you forward. And that spirituality is missing from this side. I feel like this person is missing the blessing and the covering that you brought to their life. The emotion of it, the sentiment, the flow that was um, coming into them, what you fed to them, what you gave to them. If this person happens to be an energetic vampire, somebody that sucks off your energy or off your resources, um, like somebody where you feel like they felt like you were supposed to bring them peace and give them peace. They were drinking from your cup. You were pouring into them. You're no longer doing that. And they are struggling with that um, missing. Yeah, the hierophant. You know, they are struggling in this space. Where does this card go? I feel like the spirit or the perfect and wise counselor is working in this space. Is working in this scenario. Um, I definitely feel like you have the spirit of the most high God on your side. That you are working to stay in alignment and to listen to what the hierophant, your spiritual counselor, is telling you. Yeah, that's true. 
That's true. And somebody is watching. Either you're watching the spirit or the spirit is watching you. The spirit is watching over you. It is. Just like in the Six of Swords, the spirit is watching over you. As you move forward in truth. You're surrounded. You have the truth over you. The Ace of Swords. You have the Ace of Cups on one side. And you have the Perfect Counselor on the other side. You are surrounded by spiritual gifts. And spiritual covering. And spiritual favor. It's true. Helping you heal. And helping you move forward. I feel like this Four of Swords though. To me sometimes can represent something really dark. You know, sometimes it can represent rest, but I feel an eternal rest. This person is very, very dark. And earlier today, I felt like they were planning to do something very, very dark. Um, this is for some people that your ex-person could be really planning to do something really, really dark. And maybe the spirit moved you away from this plot or whatever it is that was there um, to help you heal. Nine of Cups. This person is challenged. I don't know if this is selfishness. You know, holding back. You know, just thinking about their own happiness. And not necessarily what's good for anybody else. But they are thinking about their own happiness and their own energy. And the energy that you gave to them. Is there anything down here? This, this, this one. Does it go here? Where does it go? Right here. This one. Where does this go? Queen of Cups. Like I said, they're missing your energy. They're missing the love. They're missing what you poured into them. They're missing the love. They're missing the nurturing. They're missing the care. They're missing the compassion that you showed. You, they're missing everything that you poured into them. Because Queen of Cups could pour in a lot into another person, but they may not be pouring into themselves. Or this person, you know, just really missed that energy. You had that Ace of Cups type of love. You know, but not only are you psychic and intuitive at the same time, but you're very, very loving. Again, psychic, intuitive, but very, very loving, very healing type of energy. And they miss that energy. I hear public recognition as well. Like this person sees you somehow publicly. Magician. I told you this person is sending dark magic to you. They are doing something manipulative. They are working. And I feel like this person. I feel like I, I keep hearing like they are a practitioner. In some sort of way. Even if it's just with plots and words. I, def I don't know if they are really uh, dabbling in dark arts. You know what I mean? Like somebody who got a spell book out and burning candles and none of that stuff. I just feel like it's words. Like they talk and chatter a lot and they are planning and talking. And I feel like not only in their own self and spirit with other people as well. I hear anybody that would listen. Like I said, they got a vision. They can see you because you are in the public eye. Public success in some sort of way. And it's pissing this person off. It really, really is. They see your public success. They know that somehow or another you are going to be abundant or you are incredibly abundant. And... Um, they are very upset about that. Again, star energy, right? They are upset. They want to manipulate your star energy. We see the magician to the star to the strength card. It's, this is a very, very strong energy. Yeah, what did I say? They miss this. They miss 
this two of cups energy they may even feel like you know you're gonna meet somebody new that you have met somebody new or that is going to come soon and they don't want anybody else they have not been able to replace your energy they haven't they don't want any other offers because they haven't been able to replace your energy there's no replacement for the energy that you gave. It's just not this one. What did I say? They are concerned about the end of this cycle. They really don't want it to end. Empress. Empress and investment. They are still invested in you emotionally. They probably are still invested in you uh, sexually. And I don't think they like it. They can't stand it that they still want you. That they are still attracted to you in some sort of way. Like, um, and that you've blocked them out. You are so defensive against them. Or the defense that you put up against this person. Like, you, you, you denying me? Yeah, nine of pentacles. You don't need them. You don't. You don't need them. And they like for people to meet them. It, it makes them feel very insecure and off balance. They don't know what to do with that. Because you don't need them. You don't need them. You just don't. You're abundant by yourself. And they don't like it. This is definitely a past energy. And they are challenged by the fact that they can no longer go with you. Page of Swords. They, uh, mm. I hear they really want to be invested with you. They really would like to figure out a way to sow a seed back into it, like secretly, but they would never tell anybody. They wouldn't. They don't even want to admit it to themselves. They wouldn't even admit it to themselves. They locked up in their head about the whole situation. Again, that's that Five of Pentacles, Energy 1717 on the phone. 1717 on the phone. 1717, 11, 77, 70, 70, 11. That's true. They still have lust for you. They do. And they can't stand it. They don't like this. They don't. They want to be in some sort of equal, not equal give and take, but they still want to receive what you give. And they are conflicted by it. They are in, internally and mentally, spiritually battling with they self over it. And they are angry. Like I said, pissed. Here's this shit. They may be getting your messages or some message about you. Ten of Cups through their family. You know, could be. You know, and it's making them upset. Again, Five of Swords. You know, willing to do just about anything. Which is what makes them dangerous. That's what makes this person dangerous. Because of the public recognition that you're getting. People throwing a parade for you. People supporting you. People cheering for you. People, you know, they can't turn people against you. People see the truth. They see it. And they are pissed. They are so upset. And you see how this person is behind the scenes looking at somebody else walk away. They stalking you behind the scenes energetically or physically. Energetically or physically. This person is still stalking you. They cannot release it. They will not release it. They are just holding on to this emotion. They don't want this to be over. They don't. They are still invested in you. It is not over to them. It's not. It's just not this person. It is not over. You want this on the table? King of, 
King of Pentacles, King of Wands. I see money and I see lust. They are not loving. No. What did I say? They're not loving. You are defending yourself against this person who's lustful and upset. Causing heartbreak and destruction. And that's what they're working on. And they're working on it with other people, still causing illusions and confusion, trying to keep shit up. Instead of, again, allowing it to die, they said no. Because they can't replace your Ace of Cup love. They cannot. They cannot, so they would rather do something foolish and take a risk. Maybe they are upset because you took a risk and just went off to make a whole different life. You know, like, again, you don't need this person, so to go off means nothing to you. Again, it's nothing to a boss. And when you left, you hung they ass up and hung them out to dry. Now they feel hung out to dry. And they can't get over you. I can't get over you. Y'all might have had great sex. It could have been a sexual connection. Again, they feed off your energy. Not off of just, look, I can't make it up. It's healing. Healing. Healing connection to them. And they are unable to walk away with it. That That's all they see. I feel they would choose to, to, to work in a distorted type of vision than to move forward. Ace of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe whatever new opportunities or opportunities for them is coming along slow. Or they are just persistent in an opportunity to do something I feel like to you. Four of Wands. Part, page of Pentacles. They are partnering with other people and they are watching you. They are studying you, I feel. What did I say? Working with other people, plotting, watching you, studying you. You're talking about three of wands waiting for an opportunity to come in, to uh, the ability to have that vision. You, I mean, ten of swords to do what? And this is a queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles energy. They may have hooked up with somebody, again, that's just like them. And they can't replace your energy, though. Whoever they hooked up with, they don't have the same energy as you. It's not healing. It's not the same connection. They don't feel that energetic um, They're not getting it. I hear, can I get a refill? Can I get a read? Like I said, standing there waiting for an opportunity, looking, watching in the background. Illusions hidden behind the moon. Hidden. And for you, it's going to get dark. Yeah. Page of Wands. Somebody's telling this person something. They're getting messages in some sort of way. And it could be three people giving them messages, I feel. Three to four different people. Like what I said, it's, uh, and they're getting them. Um, consistently maybe they're getting your consistent and persistent message or the, their spirit is telling them something constantly like they feel it um calling i just heard r kelly your body is calling them constantly that page of wands and they want to move towards you they want to come towards you It could be something about your chariot. It could be two of wands, plans, and judgment. Plans, judgment, 
four pentacles somebody was greedy and i see the partnership in the page of pentacles these people i feel like this person definitely still has an eye on you because of the public recognition or the public uh forum that you may be in whether it's social media facebook snapchat you know instagram for some people you know we talked about turning your location off if you have a location in your vehicle in some kind of way um they may be able to track your movements um it's something of that sort i can't make it up y'all this person is is sneaky they doing something sneaky behind the moon judgment they are choosing to do shit in the dark and work again foolishness foolishness the fool energy and look what it is They could literally be thinking and planning to unalive you. It feels like one of those, if I can't have you, nobody else can type of situations. You know what I mean? Be very, very careful. This could be get darker before it gets better. And that's what I felt with this Six of Swords. You could be going to somewhere or like a situation where it's getting darker before it gets light. Like it's always darkest before the light. I have, I feel like you may not have seen the, the darkest part of this situation yet. I don't feel like you have. The temperance angel is here, though. The temperance angel is here. And we saw that. Protecting you from whatever their vision is. Because, like I said, it's not to apologize. It's not. They don't have any remorse for what they did. The only thing that they will come towards you for is whatever they are plotting in the inside. And I feel like it's dark. Plotting to, I hear this, unalive you. And that's why I said, like, oftentimes I don't feel, you know, good energy from the four swords. It can be healing, but oftentimes that rest could be like a long nap, like an eternal nap. And I feel like this person is weighing their options. They either trapped in illusions, but I feel like they are either upset that you have options or that they are exploring their options to move towards you with the chariot. Yeah. Because they can't get what you give. Giving and receiving is here. And what did I say? The chariot. I just said this. And they're doing it in secret. They're trying to figure out a way to do it. They're trying to figure out a way to get to you. Like I said, a tower. Because this shit blew up. Basically, they are trying to figure out how to get to you. And all because you did this. That six of swords moved on and I feel like again just like that it's gonna get darker before it gets lighter it's always darkest before day it should have been happening for a long time you know with the night it's been happening for a long time they've been in this mindset for a minute and I feel like that perfect and wise counselor is either trying to block it or stop them or combat what it is that they're thinking or it's just advising you to move forward and continue to move forward because this king of wands energy is very upset about i feel money i feel energy i feel i don't feel love but I feel money and energy. There's something about your energy. Something about your...
cup that just does it for them. It fills them up, it energizes, it soothes, it gives them the compassion and the nurturing that they desire to combat the other issues that they have going on. Abandonment, connectivity, insecurity, um, all the things that they don't talk about to other people. And they are so upset six of wands over this public recognition that people see you in a high esteem that they cannot tear down your reputation that you still have opportunity that you are still moving forward with success that you did not falter that you are protected from all of these illusions that they had going on, everything they did behind the scenes, you are protected from it. You keep blocking it out and you prosper anyway. Everything that you've sown is still going to come through. That Queen of Pentacles energy, everything that you've sown is still going to come through. Despite them working with other people, because I saw the Three of Cups, Despite them working with other people, despite the collaborations, despite the treachery and deceit, despite whatever theft they've done, whatever, yeah, because you this, what did I say? They cannot replace your cup because you're the queen of cups who walked away, the one that got away walked away from the bullshit, walked away strong, strength is here, justice is here, this person is going to face some strong justice, strong consequences I hear legal consequences for what they may have done, for what they are planning, all of it. They probably need to be careful because the spirit watches over you and you definitely have that star energy. You are protected by the spirit. You have spiritual favor over your life. You may have a calling, a serious calling over your life and that calling is going to be protected as long as you operate in faith and on faith and be obedient you will be protected you will be partnership three of cups to the devil energy partnership broken marriage relationship three of cups energy is involved here feel like they are working with other people and they're working in toxic energy and it's like some lot of it is hidden they not even telling all of them all the shit that's in their head and what they working on and exactly what they did in this situation in this marriage they're not telling them everything they're not king of cups to the king of swords they're not telling them everything anything else no um, two of swords but they're gonna get karma for their choices they are they're gonna get karma who this greedy ass selfish ass king of pentacles that's who getting karma and a part of their karma is that they feel this they really do feel some sort of regret and anxiety over this situation over being left out. Regret looking at the past with a certain anxi anxious anxiety, worry, uh, despair, despair over this past lover situation, this past love over this relationship and they got left out. And like I said, they still upset because they do still have lust and desire for you and they need to juggle that to manage that. They are struggling with that emotion. Look at all these wands coming in. There's a lot of lust. Look at the 10 of wands right here. They are struggling. They are burdened with all of this shit. They cannot rest or they would rather put you to rest 
because they are struggling and off balance, feeling left out of this loving situation, causing them a lot of despair, a lot of anxiety, a lot of nervousness, a lot of worry. A lot. I don't know about regret in a sense, but how that regret is working in them, but I definitely feel a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict. Um, I feel like somebody has to look in the mirror right now and see they self. But they definitely are putting on a poker face. They don't want nobody else to know that they feel like this on the inside. They don't want nobody else to know that they are really envious and jealous of your success. The fact that they cannot turn people against you. The fact that you're getting public recognition in the way that you are. It's something about the the publicity that really pisses them off. Expressing love, love messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Like I said, they thinking about you. And they think about you in a way that they don't tell other people. Do they tell other people? Thinking of you. They do. Hammer, sabotage, and rebuild, persistent, working on it, repairing it. That's what they would think about. Maybe thinking about how they sabotaged it versus rebuilding it, sabotaging this versus rebuilding it. Instead of working on it or repairing it, they sabotaged it and they stayed persistent in a course of action. And now they've lost. I hear the greatest love that they've ever known. And now they somehow uh, really miss the energy. Needing time. Cycle takes time. Time to heal. Progressing. Definitely feel progress. I feel like you're taking the time you need to heal. Like I said, it could get darker before it gets lighter. This. This. Yeah, partying, taking time with friends, have fun, happily single, living in the moment. Yeah, I feel like this person may see that, you know, maybe, I don't feel like they are, but I feel like you are taking time with friends. I feel like that you're happily single and that bothers them. Shit. That's that Six of Swords again. Cutting ties, moving on, receiving what you need from the situation. Spirit wanted it upside down. Fear of abandonment. What did I say? Didn't I say this person had abandonment issues? Abandonment, chasing, codependency. See, yeah, on the nose, the chaser. See, I feel like you went off. You don't have fear of abandonment, and you are not codependent. Maybe you had some codependency issues, and you resolved them. You're releasing codependency, and you are no longer chasing. You don't chase. And maybe this person still has abandonment issues. And if you are not afraid of abandonment, that means you will go. You are okay with being alone, and this person doesn't like to be alone. Day. Yeah, we see Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, but getting back out there, meeting new people. You know, you could be doing that, you know, or being an energy ready to do it. And this person could publicly see that in some kind of way, and it's definitely making them feel a kind of way. Heartbroken, what did I say? It's making them feel a kind of way. In 
And we started with that. We saw that Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Deeply hurt. Deeply sad. Feeling lost. But I really feel despair over this breakup. This one. Yeah. And despair over your ability to be abundant. We saw that Ten of Pentacles. We saw that Ace of Pentacles. You are still abundant. You have a positive mindset. You are still blessed. And they don't understand how you are still blessed. Like, you're blessed and they're in despair. They finna get some karma for what happened or whatever the hell they, they did. And how they're thinking and choosing to remain in that mindset. It could be, you know, get deeper and darker for you before it gets better. I feel like there's another phase of something that could be coming. Challenges and things that you have to go through in order to completely resolve all of this. And see the sun really come rise over the situation. And you have peace and balance and stability and just calm and resolute. But I feel like you can get through it because the spirit is driving you through it. Ooh. We see engagement coming in down the line. Another commitment, a partnership and union. I hear a divine match. Your true divine match is going to come. Because I see nine of pentacles here at the end. Look, three cards. The empress. Nine of pentacles energy. Single. And then engagement ring. Anything else here, beloved? You know. Talking. You could be talking to somebody interested, awaiting messages, talks, text, calls, email, talking more. And we see ascending, learning, expansion, transcending, preparing for union, a new phase. Preparing for union. A new phase. Somebody's going to have conversation, meeting, and talking, saving the moment, building a friendship. And we talked about that. But you're going to be in communication with somebody soon. Somebody that wants to build a relationship. I'm just noticing that this Empress card is sitting right here. Definitely divine feminine energy. Is here. Maybe have an energy for your week. Maybe have an energy for your week. Five of Cups. Somebody's in remorse. Five of Cups. Somebody is in despair. Serious despair. Despair and anxiety is here. For this King of Wands, this person is lustful. And they are secret, holding secrets, keeping secrets. Keeping secrets. Page of Swords is in reverse. Secrets, lying, lying to others, lying to themselves, lying to others, lying to themselves. That they are really in despair, sorrow, unable to find a place of peace, having personal setbacks, almost in a sense of bereavement. Morning, I feel. Night of Wands. And it's persistent over this past situation. Six of Cups. And that's the truth. Night of Wands. They could be doing something, thinking something impulsive. Or they just, you know, still have that uh, sexual energy. And sexual energy over this past situation. Yes, and that's what I said is persistent. Knight of Pentacles. They still, after all this time, have all of this sexual energy for you. And 
they don't want anybody to know that truth. They don't. They don't even want to face that truth for themselves. That's for real. And they don't like that you are abundant. I don't know how many Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles is out here, but it's a few. They don't like the fact that you are abundant, that you have the abundance, that the favor is with you. And they would bring a tower. Chaos. Even having a revelation of what it is. Like I said, they will bring a tower to you. Because if they can't have you, be careful. Be very, very mindful. Be very, very mindful. Listen to your spirit and be obedient. As that perfect and wise counselor guides you. It doesn't mean anything that everything is going to make sense. It's not. But I told you I felt that six of swords. But in this particular one, the Pope Tarot, it looks like it gets darker before it gets lighter. They are unable to face this judgment from the spirit. And how people judge this star energy. The fact that they are protected and they walked away, walked away to happiness, strength, and in truth, but they are watching you. They are watching you. We write back to the Knight of Wands and Four of Pentacles. Selfishness, Page of Cups, giving you a little bit of love, a little bit of nothing. King of Cups to the Five of Pentacles. This person is holding back their emotions. They are trying to hold back everything that they feel, which is really despair and loss and anxiety, grief. going to wrap it up. Any advice? Is there something else you want to say? Your words? These words? Okay. Page of Swords. Initiation. Something is being initiated. Or you have been initiated. I hear awakening. Resourcefulness is here. But obstacles. Obstacles are definitely still here. Maybe, you know, again, some new obstacles are being initiated. They will come your way. That's that darkness before it gets light. It gets darkness before light. Transmuting pain is here definitely continue to do that and this person is really dealing with their choices and their consequences choices and consequences this is a teachable moment for them and an opportunity um i feel like you were a treasure to them and they are really realizing how much of a treasure you were and exactly more, um, not exactly what they lost because I still don't feel like they appreciate all of that. I just feel like they appreciate the sentiment that you gave them, the, the comfort and connectivity that you gave them. Yeah, limited possibility. Like maybe the possibilities that came along with you, your abundance, your favor, your you know, that Ace of Cups, star, energy, public recognition, reputation, like all of the benefits that came along with you. And not just necessarily you in general, but it was what was in you, what was on you, luck and right timing. The abundance, the favor, the fortune, 
that came with you. But somebody is definitely going to get their karma. But they miss this fortune that they had with you. The right use of power and fates. Make sure you use your power in the right way. Because you have a fate union coming up. We see clarity, organization, and intentionality. I feel like whoever is coming into your life will be truthful. They will have a clear vision of what they want with you. They will be an emperor as well. That's that clarity and organization and intentionality. That feels like emperor energy. Preparations come to fruition. Continue to prepare and move forward. You know, stay focused on what it is that the Most High has put in front of you to do, and you will be okay. Listen to what the Most High has said. Make sure you secure yourself. Don't be, you don't have to be like super hyper vigilant. I can't tell you what not to be and what to be. I'm just saying if the Most High says do this, then do it. Rest and renewal is here. And forgiveness. This person is refusing a call. Refusal of the call. They are refusing the call of the Most High. They are refusing the Spirit telling them to stop, to desist, to cease. And they persist instead. Again, it's a teachable moment for them. And it's an opportunity for them. But they don't see it like that. They don't. So I feel like you are taking a teachable moment and that you are taking that opportunity to do what it is that you need to do. And that's why you remain abundant. You move forward. Ancestral wisdom is here. You're listening to your ancestors and you're listening to the spirit. I see curiosity. Somebody is curious about you. They do know that you are a hidden treasure or there's something deep within you, something different that's intriguing them. And they want to get to know more, I feel. Yeah, compassion and a new beginning. They want to have, you have compassion or hold on to your compassion because a new beginning is here. Or somebody has compassion for you. They may even hear you or see you, what you have persevered through, and have compassion for you and with you for what you have, you know, endured. Reconciliation. Could be somebody from your past. And uh, that was something. Or this person just really wants to reconcile with you and they won't tell anybody about it again. They're wearing a mask many masks, you know, they are wearing a mask, they would rather reconcile, and they probably, again, we saw that wish that they had of reconciled, but instead of reconciling, they sabotage the connection, experiencing life as it comes, but we see possibility for a union. This person wishes that they had an opportunity for a union, they wish that they could change things, but they can't. And that's a part of the despair. That's a part of the grief and the bereavement. That feeling of loss. That this is dead. And they're going to have to accept it. Radical acceptance, beloved. They're going to have to accept that it's over. That it's done. That it has burned. I hear Usher. I think that you should let it burn. Time to replenish in Divine Matrix. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, I feel some angel answers. Close this out with that message from the angels. And see what they have to say. We see release. We see conscious con consumer. This person is not being a conscious consumer because it's upside down. But I see books and release. What do you desire right now? Singing and dancing is here. Change your energy. Maybe you're a person that sings and dance sweet. Maybe you're joyful and joyous. You know, it's something about singing and dancing. You know, I see you're on the right path slid out. You're on the right path. You are. We got a couple things in reverse. Caution is warranted. 
look deeper into this situation. This person is not. They're not taking caution. They're not looking deep. It's very superficial. Release resentments about money. Again, that was in the reverse. They are not releasing resentments about money. They are holding on. They are very resentful, resentful about your abundance and, and your success. The fact that you are recognizably successful. Writing is here, and you deserve the best. Reach for the stars. I don't know. Um, maybe they need to journal. Maybe you should journal. Maybe you could write about this experience um, and reach for the stars. The star is out here quite a few times. Maybe, again, you have star potential uh, with this public recognition and the Six of Wands being out here so many times. You definitely could be somebody, again, that could blow up, that could really have an impact in the public arena, um, depending on how you share your testimony. Ascended Masters, we saw the fact that you work with, I said you work with your ancestors. So we see that here. I thought I saw how to have it out. But again, you definitely have the right use of power. It's something that you should be doing. I thought we had left it out. Anyway, um, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over you and guiding you. I definitely said you have spiritual guidance and spiritual favor that the spirit, the higher fan, is working with you. You have guides that are leading you forward and continue to listen to your guides. Listen to your ancestors. Listen to your perfect and wise counselor. When they say move, move. It's safe for you to receive. This person, they're not going to be receiving too much of anything. They are not. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available. I told you it's something about this person's resources. They're not receiving favor. They're not receiving resources. They're not getting their abundance. They're probably struggling financially in some sort of way. And they do see you winning and they miss the favor that was on their life when you were present. They miss everything that was in that cup. successful funding. I can't make it up. They missed the favor that came along with you when you were together. If you have an idea or something that you want to do, you will have the resources. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God, of the God that gave you the idea. So if you are following your ancestors in whatever it is that you're getting ready, whatever venture you're going to do, whether it's writing books, whether it's some sort of platform, don't hold on to fear. Move forward. Know that you have the resources and the funding to make it happen. And yeah, you could be a speaker. I see somebody in some sort of form is, is public. Um, you've asked the angels for help. Be open to receiving that divine guidance. And this person, they're, they don't have favorable conditions right now. They just don't. Have, it, have faith and hope because there's something positive on a new horizon that you can't see yet. And that's what got me up, 58-54. There's something that you can't see yet because it always gets darker before it gets light. Before light is darkest, right before light. Anything else, beloved? No. Did we get it out? Is there something else in this deck? No. Is there energy here? No.
worry. See, that's that nine of swords. This person is worried, very worried. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. They need to know that, but maybe, maybe you're worried too, but I really feel it over here. I feel this, worry and anxiety. They are worried about this outcome. There's something in here. They are worried about you fully moving on the ending of the cycle. Justice. They are worried about justice. Yeah. They're having some doubts. Challenged. They don't know what's going to happen, do they? They do know. So maybe they thought it was going to be come out one way in their favor, and now they are doubting that they have the favor, or they know that they're not going to have the favor. They know. And I feel like, again, that's a part of that success and abundance that you're going to receive. This one. They are upset again, and they will not tell anybody this, that this relationship is over. Gratitude and growth. They're denying it. They will not tell anybody that they are upset that this relationship is over. Anything else below? No. They will not tell anybody that they are upset that this relationship is And they know that they can't change it. They know it. I know that I cannot change the past. That's it, child. Know this for you, we, it could get darker before it gets light because it's always darkest right before sunrise so if you're going through and you are coming out of all of this mess or whatever was in this whole saga right and you can feel that energy still on you somebody pulling on you somebody just like and whatever they may be doing two things Stay grounded, stay rooted, stay connected to your source, the highest God. To listen to your spirit and whatever they guide you to do. Your ascended masters are with you. Protection and favor and blessing is with you. But also, be safe. Be mindful. Because this person is in a very chaotic energy struggling to balance themselves to come to grips with everything that has happened and transpired things that they don't tell other people things that they will not even admit onto themselves. be careful i love you just like i love me because i love the most high and the word and the breath this was done
Yeah, it's there. I'll show you.